Oh, shit. Grand Maestro Mose. Aldrin has already gone down a different path from Yulia's score. Silence. You've forgotten your mission for the seventh phone stone and thrown yourself in with this rabble. What is Jade doing? As long as Luke dies and war begins, as written in the score, prosperity will follow. Oh, I see. Don't resist, Jade, or this woman dies. <laughs> you look great like that, Jade. I'm honored by your compliment. No one's complimenting you. What are you going to do with us? We're taking you to battle. There we're going to have you help us restart the war. Take them away. I hope Noelle is safe. I don't trust them. Doth is an autonomous theocracy. I don't think they'll just kill her. What's going to happen to us? Luke will likely be executed in order to follow the score. And probably under the charge of conspirating against the kingdom of Kimlaska Lenvildir, I imagine Natalia will be too. That might be just as well. Luke, what are you saying? Well, you know, my birth took the world off track from the score of prosperity. Maybe that's why the Sephiroth are going out of control. What the hell are you talking about? That's gotta be it. And besides, you said it yourself, Tyr. I don't exist in Yulia's score. But that doesn't mean you're not supposed to exist. You're an idiot. What? Hey! All I meant was that you aren't bound by Yulia's score. That's a good point. Luke has the ability to move freely, regardless of the score. You have the potential to create a new future different from the score. Tear. You said you would change, but here you are pouting again. Fine, do whatever you want. Tear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought the port was closed. Oh wait, I have control of Luke. What's up guys, my name is Flares, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Blind. In the last episode, we visited Doth after finishing up in Zao Ruins to uh, confirm some suspicions that Jade had. And here we are, I presume, yep. I'm in Natalia's room, huh? They separated us from the rest. I wonder what's going to happen to us now. You're only saying that so that you don't have to come out with it, don't, aren't you? Hmm. Meryl, imposter of the Princess of Kimlaska. Luke, imposter of the son of Duke Fabra. Meryl? What are you saying? The kingdom strips you both of your rights of succession. You also bear responsibility for the slaughter at Exeriuth. What are you talking about? I've done nothing of the sort! You were raised a noble. Now have the grace to die by your own hand. His majesty provided this so that you would not suffer. Please. Poison? 
What's that? You're coming to the rescue again. We made it. Tear, everybody, how did you get here? They put us in a cell, but we got some unexpected help. Ash. We'll explain later. Let's go. Wait. Let me see Father. Let me see His Majesty. I want to hear what he really thinks. I agree. Please, I need to see my uncle in order to stop this war. I don't know if that's the best idea, Luke. You understand the danger. If we don't just escape, he'll have you executed on the spot. Thank you. Tear. I thought you'd given up on me. Thanks for coming. You really are an idiot. <laughs> oh, okay. Game's gonna force me out of here. All right. Oh, well, guess I'm not going that way. Guess I can go down though. Oh, I guess I have to go up to get here anyway. <laughs> no way. Can't sneak around ya. This is some actually kind of freaky music. Alright, games force me in one direction, so I suppose we will follow in that direction. This is some eerie, but really cool music. Damn, Tear, you just put everybody to sleep. Well, let's enter the audience hall. Natalia. Father! Traitor! You still live? Father, am I really not your daughter? I... I don't want to believe it, but... The wet nurse has testified. Meryl, daughter of Sylvia, attendant of the late queen. That is who she is, correct? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm putting the pieces together. Yes, the real Natalia was stillborn. Is Natalia Largo's child? But the queen fell into despair. So I took my daughter's child, who was born a few days earlier, to her. Is... Is that really true, Nanny? How disgraceful, Meryl. You learned that you were not the true princess. You aided the destruction of Axeriuth out of hatred for being ripped from your real parents. No! I did nothing of the sort! <laughs> it's very obvious, too, because... Quite frankly, she is acting exactly how a person who wouldn't know is, would act. Uncle, would you really believe such a story? I don't want to, but we found an infant's remains buried where she said. What? Even if that's true, you raised Natalia as your own daughter. It makes no sense to condemn her for a crime she didn't commit. This isn't only about her. You too will die here. The mastermind of the destruction of Axeriuth. With your deaths, we will again declare war on Malkuth. Kill them! What are you doing, Largo? Do you not care if strangers do the job for you? <sighs> so this is what you dragged me here to do. That's quite the evil thing to do, Dist. Ash, perfect timing. Capture them. Luke! Ash! 
I just freed you. What the hell are you doing here? Go, now! You rescued us? Then come with us. Shut up. Someone has to hold them off. Now go! Be safe. Ah, you traitor! Shut up, freak. You betrayed Van and leaked information to Moe's. You? A god general betraying the Commandant? All I care about is achieving my goal. That takes priority over my loyalty to Van. What a selfish sack of crap. Mother. Ash gave us a chance to escape. We can't waste it. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. I know. Come on, let's get out of Batical. All Ash did will be for nothing if we stay. Let's go. I guess there's nothing we really can do about that, huh? The question stands, though. Can I enter the manor? I cannot. We have to leave. Master Luke, the White Knights have opened the path ahead just as you ordered. Ordered? Mm hmm. Your hair. Were you wearing a wig earlier? <laughs> so Ash set this up. Thanks, Pear. Now you need to go. His name is just Pear. It took me this long to find this out, too. No. I will remain here and do what I can to shield you. It's too dangerous. You must run. Don't worry. Old Pear was my sword instructor. We're counting on you, Pear. Master Gylardia, I pray for your safety. Master Luke, Her Highness is our kingdom's beacon of hope. Please keep her safe. I will. The anime actually does a really good job of explaining um, Guy and Pear's uh, relationship, I suppose. Essentially, the the it, it, with how uh, Guy just phrased it there, Pear is to Guy as Van is to Luke. And um, the episode where Guy's identity is revealed, also revealed that, according to the anime anyway, um, Pear, it, it was only Pear and Guy that escaped from House Guardios. Well, I suppose there's not much else that we can do. We have to get out of here. Thank God we have some good we have some good knights on our side, right? Duke Fabra's personal guard, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Good thing they're better than the kings, apparently. Stop, traitors! Huh? What are you doing? Your Highness, please run! Uh, how did you know it was me? The circus people said you were to be executed for crimes you didn't commit. The circus people? Wait, the Dark Wings? We didn't know what you looked like, but you were fleeing the upper level. You must be the princess. Now please, run! Natalia, let's go. Right. This is so cool. Because the guards won't hurt the, the townspeople. Stop! 
Ah! That heinous criminal usurped the princess's name! Hand her over at once! It's true! I am not of royal blood! I am an imposter! Do not endanger yourselves for me! Please, run! We don't give a damn whether you're of royal blood or not! Huh? You're the one who opened the hospital for us. You're the one who hired us to work on the port after we lost our jobs. Ah, enough! Out of the way! They don't care about her bloodline. They just care about what she did as a high member of society. Stop! Let's go, boss fight, let's do it. Come on, I'm ready. I've had enough of this! Fight me! Ash? You wretch! Protecting the people of Kimlaska is your job as a soldier! Leave this to us! Now go, Natalia! Ash! I see you kept your promise. Huh? Ash! Luke! You remember! Go! We can't change this country together if you're always moping around. Okay! Luke, one mistake and I will kill you. You take care of yourself, too. Part of the Zhao Desert is destroyed. Head for Anista Marsh. Got it. Thanks. Princess Natalia, please take care! We're so glad you came back to us alive. Please stay that way. We don't want war. We know you can stop it. We'll hold off the soldiers. Hurry. Princess Natalia, the desert is too dangerous. Take the road south to Anista Marsh. Anista Marsh is southwest from here. Please be careful. We can't stay here. Looks like we managed to escape. Asher saved us this time. Ash, still, I wish I could have spoken with Father more. The king seems to be uncomfortable himself. I'm sure if you talk to him again... Yes, I, I hope so. For now, we should probably keep away from Batacle. The question is, where can we go? With Chesedonia in the Cliffoth, and, and Noel and the Albior in Doth, Inista Marsh looks like it's our, like our only option. The road hasn't been used in ages. There are probably monsters all over the place. We'll just have to deal with them. We can't afford to hang around here. Agreed. So we don't even have an act. We don't even have access to the Elbior. Uh, that makes this a little dicey. But that was that was intense. Southwest, huh? I suppose this is southeast. Actually, this would take me towards the. Uh, place and thing and stuff. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way, and I know that. I just want to do 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 don't attack me, you piece of shit. I'm just actually curious how the the edge of the world looks. I want to check this out. Oh my goodness. That's such a huge part piece of land. Damn! That's insane! So, we're heading for Belkend? Essentially? Is that the, the gist of what's going on? Cause I, I mean, that's what I would think to do. I'd figure go to, go to Belkend and see if somebody from there can get us to back to Doth. Or we can somehow make communication with Noel. To meet us up, meet up with us, uh, there. Words? Is it over here? Where is this thing? Hey, a bridge! I like bridges. Is this where I need to go? Is this Anista Marsh? Oh my goodness, I think it is. Yep. So, not quite a dungeon. 
but pretty close. I hope Ash is all right. He'll be fine. The people of Kim Lasker are on his side. The frame rate here. Whoa. Yes. All those people, just for my sake. You can express your thanks by saving Aldred. We're the only ones who know this world is in danger. Yes. Where does the marsh lead? Belkind, I think. Let's first meet up with Ash there. Belkind is Duke Faber's territory. We'll have to stay sharp. I mean, we're, we should still be on Duke Faber's side, I think. <laughs> I know. There's something scary about this marsh. Let's pray we don't run into any nasty monsters. Don't say that. That makes me nervous. Oh my goodness, we run slow in the marsh. All war. It is a sword. Hey! Is it better than my rapier? Ooh, my goodness it is. Huh. It's a curved sword. Which is kind of what Luke started with, isn't it? We've also got Nebulum here. And I do happen to know that uh, Nebulum here, the sword Nebulum, is actually kind of important for a side store, side quest piece of bit or something. Um, if I manage to get around to it, I hope to, to you know, do the stuff and the thing. Oh, I don't like that I move slow. Don't like moving so slow. There's a thing over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was ready to turn around. Spin around on a dime. Gonna pick up some items. Got a night helm. I guess I can give that to Luke. Oh, but it drops my agility. Standard helmet of the Order of Lorelei. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I like having my agility. Agility is like that one stat I always feel like I need, but then everybody's like, nah, you don't need it. And I'm like, but I like it. I'm gonna try to stay away from the monsters because apparently running through the marsh is difficult for Luke. What is it? About that nasty monster that Jade mentioned. Is it behind it looks us? Like it's more than just a rumor. Is there something here? It's an old story, but they say that a violent monster in these parts used to attack travelers. They sent teams to exterminate it multiple times. And the teams never returned. They never succeeded. So they instead trapped it inside the marsh by planting flowers that it didn't like. I thought it was just a story, but you saw those flowers, right? You're saying that story's real? What? It should be dead by now, right? We can hope. No way! Is that the monster you were talking about? We'll gain nothing from fighting that creature now. I doubt we could defeat it in our present state anyway. We should avoid any confrontations with it as we pass through the marsh. Why are you so certain we can't defeat it? If you could beat it by brute force, other teams would have taken it out already. Exactly. For now, let's run. We know it doesn't like Reflessia pollen. We can use that fact to make it through the marsh. Okay, and if it does catch up to us, we run immediately. Understood. And it shoved me all the way back here. Natalia's future. Natalia looks pretty down. You can't blame her. Recent events have proven to be to be too great of a shock. I guess we'll just have to let her sort her feelings out. We should probably consider. Oh my goodness! But I couldn't read that fast enough. Yet this once we reach Balkan is there for like ever. It could be better for her not to travel with us anymore. But how come? We'll have to eventually meet with King Ingelbert again. If the king should reject Natalia, 
that could be an even greater injury to her psyche. Oh. It is, of course, a decision Natalia will have to make on her own. Okay, so, um... You look like monsters, and you look like you're attacking me from behind! So Guy leveled up! Any other levels? No, I was just jacking it out, but I guess there's not. Okay. Run away! W w what was that monster? Don't shout like that, it might still be looking for us. Boo, I can't believe I got scolded by Luke. I have to admit, I'm surprised that it actually existed. We can't beat this, can we? I doubt it. For now, we'll have to use Reflessia Pollen to keep it at bay until we escape. All the way through this whole huge marsh, huh? Natalia, are you okay? D don't worry, I'm fine. Okay. Remember, if we encounter that monster again, we don't fight. We run. Now let's go. I want to fight it. <laughs> Just saying, I want to fight it. Or at least throw it, you know, at least throw it aside. Thank God. You are no match for me. Ooh, a save point. Let me get over there. Let me get over to the save point. I'm not looking to end the episode just yet, but I want to hit the save point. Because I, as you may or may not know, like to do stupid things. And if there's a, if there's like a super boss-esque monster around here, I want to fight it. <laughs> and I'd hate to go and redo the, everything that just happened, because I am not going to feel the same about all that stuff. All right, there's a chest over here that I want to go get. Don't like that enemies are a ball. Oh, okay, good. Behemoth. Ninety thousand. So you know that thing about doing stupid stuff? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh? Why do I feel like I've seen this before? It's the same color scheme as Nebulum. I'm gonna do something stupid here. I doubt this will matter at all. Okay, dear. Damn. Hey, Tear, you wanna set up a healing circle around Jade? Oh, that sucks. I thought I was close enough. She casted it. I don't care. She casted it. Let me change up my arts here. I'm gonna change flame. Br Ooh, rending fang blade, dude. I want. Uh, can I get that soon? I want to change this to fang blade habit real quick. Oh, 
Okay. Can I get... Can we get another, uh... Another beautiful... Mystic art going up? I like healing circle. I can't see it hell from there. Feel the phonons. Okay, that didn't work at all. Hey, resurrection. Yeah, you cast resurrection on me. You throw a life bottle at Jade. Hey, Jade, can you use your mystic guard? <laughs> Wait for, okay. Tear, you can go ahead and use a pineapple. Oh god, we are not doing very well. Annis, Annis, wait, wait, Annis, before you charge in. Um, use a lemon gel. Ooh, I like healing circle. Okay, wait, I need to heal Jade. How are we doing? Well, we are doing actually pretty good. Like, I know I've had a heal, I, I had, I've had to uh, bah, 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 revive a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of times, a lot of, on a lot of, whatever. Um, but, man, we're not doing awful. Well, we weren't. Um, hey, healing circle. Jade, and then stop Jade from moving for half a second. Life bottle at tier. You okay? Arts. Resurrection. Jade. I got a power charge. Return the soul from the abyss of death. Oh shit. Jade. Take a... E take one of these? Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Please be me. Thank you. All right, you need to cast Healing Circle on Annis now. Meanwhile, I will go ahead and throw a life bottle at Jade. We are doing really well. Holy crap. Ooh, 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 we use an over limit.
And let's use it. And let's use it. You first aid her. You life bottle me. I got no experience for that. Wow. Oh. Let's go. So you are telling me there is literally no purpose in fighting it, even if even though I can defeat it. So she cast resurrection. Did that count? No, it didn't. Ah. Uh. Wow, it used her TP and it didn't revive him. Oh, that sucks. Good thing I got plenty of these things. And plenty of Well, I guess not really plenty of those things. Huh. Here, healing circle. Can I get over there? Nope. Well, JK. Okay, hey, bye. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna end the episode off. Now that I actually know who fuck it.